What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James from Mint Hunter Comics and I got a good one for you guys today. Have you guys ever seen this DC logo in the wild? If you do, you found something incredibly rare. These are what's called the DC Universe logo and they were primarily like 95% of them pretty much found exclusively in these old Toys R Us collector sets. These collector sets are mine from 1993 and 1994. Well, this one's from 95 and they are in rough shape. These things were loved. See all those DC Universe logos? I read these things to death as a kid. I had a bunch of Superboy, Green Lantern, all this stuff. Unfortunately, each and every one of my childhood copies is about a 0.5 at best like a 1.5 if you were to get them graded. This is completely off topic, but look what I found in my childhood books. Unfortunately, it's read to crap. Maybe I'll do a members only giveaway. So I thought to stay true to my YouTube's title, I'd do some hunting and I found some untouched, unopened Toys R Us copies that could potentially have this hyper rare logo. And let me tell you something, this was not easy to find. Now here's the deal with these Toys R Us collector sets. Some of them have this DC Universe variant and some of them just don't. So today we are going to unbox these and I've already got bags and boards ready. These things haven't been touched in about 30 years. Some of these are the actual exact collector's sets that I had as a kid. So childhood unlocked, let's do it. Before we dive in guys, make sure you comment down below. We're getting really close to that 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And if you would like, I do now offer memberships in which you can get a ton of new perks, including early access, all kinds of stuff. Batman Contagion. Let's start with a soft ball, I think. How about this one? Flash. This box is in probably the worst shape out of all of them. They are not bagged and boarded. All there is is this one thin cardboard protective layer. It is still in its shrink wrap. Let's get into it and let's see if we can find some DC Universe logos. First time being opened in nearly 30 years. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Guys, these things are in good shape. I'm hoping for no dinged corners when I take it out of here. Yep, there it is. DC Universe logo. Funny thing is, as good shape as this is, it's actually got an indent from sitting with that logo there so long. There's actually a circle indent in the middle. So I would have to get this pressed, but it might be worth it to me. That's going straight in the bags and boards. Second issue down, I'm hoping for no circle indent. Oh my God, guys, these are perfect. There's no spine ticks. There's nothing on these things. I'm gonna get these in bags and boards real quick and I'll show you. I know some of you are gonna ask if the first appearance of Impulse is in here. Nope, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm hunting it for the DC variant more than the actual notoriety of the book. And these books are perfect. Well, that's really good for the first box that every single one of them had the DC Universe logo. And even though that was the most damaged box out of all of them, they were perfectly preserved inside, just perfectly untouched, unread, mint frickin' condition. All right, guys, I know you're really here for the Batman, so let's check it out. We've got Batman Troika. This one's also from 1995, so I'm hoping that this one also includes that DC Universe logo. Let's check it out. This one's in here a lot tighter than that last one. I'm noticing some slight wear on the, uh, the cardboard itself. There is a crushed corner down here. Hopefully that doesn't affect us. Yup. So far, so good. Let's take it out and see that corner. Damaged. Oh, 
That is such a shame. Perfectly preserved, only to get some dinged corners. Although, you know what? Maybe a press could do that. I don't know. Maybe. That's going in the pressed pile. Hopefully some of these others are not as badly dinged. Although it looks like, looks like all my corners are going to be dinged on this one, ladies and gents. That's too bad. In fact, you know what? Even with a press, this one cannot get a 9.8. That, uh, that crunch in the corner has caused some spine ticks. That is too bad. I'm going to create a separate pile for books that can't get a perfect grade. Oh, they just get worse. They just get worse. Wow. And you know what? That is such a shame because that is a nice, matte, very rare book right there. Oh, that crunched corner's killing me. That's a tragedy. Okay, so other than just this book, that one was pretty much a bust. And it's a shame we had to open it to discover that that one's a no good. Next one's going to be Robin, the Knight's End, excuse me, well it's Knight's End, the first one on here is Robin. This looks like it's part two of the 10 issue Knight's End series. I'm actually chasing some of these books in 9.8, so this one's a big one for me. This looks more like it, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There it was, hiding down there, the DC Universe logo. So far, we've been pretty good with the DC Universe logo, pretty much every time. And guys, these books are off the press mint. Um, I can't wait to see what grades these come back as. We could end up with a 9-9. Who knows? Fun fact about me, this is one of my favorite Batman issues. And this time, with the rare DC Universe logo, I love the Lady Shiva and the Tengu mask and everything involved here. Lady Shiva retraining Bruce to get back at it. This is an awesome comic. How many Shadow of the Bat 29s are you going to find with the DC Universe logo in this grade? Who knows, this could be the last one. And that's the crazy thing, guys. Some of these books, while not major keys, they might be the greatest version of these books that exist right now. Another beautiful Detective Comics. Perfect corners. Oh my god. This is amazing. And look at that part four. Tricky black spine. Not tricky if you find it in this condition. So that, and here's the, the husk of that one. That actually was majorly awesome. Bunch of Batman titles in perfect, perfect, perfect condition, untouched for almost 30 years, and they are now gonna go and get perfectly slabbed and preserved forever. Let's take a break from Batman and do some Superman. I'm a little concerned about what happened with that flash issue because this does have a window. Hopefully there's no indent. These are the ones that look like the ones that I had when I was a kid. You have to actually open it like this. Wow, yeah, this thing's, this thing's pretty airtight. Let's see if we can get any DC Universe logos out of this one. Nope. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get a DC Universe logo on this one. There's interesting, no, uh, no barcode or anything on this one. I don't know this book well enough. Maybe that was a thing. Unfortunately, it does have some very bad indenting from that many years in a window bag. Oh, well. These are in here pretty good, guys. All right, here's a key. Oh, no DC Universe logo. Look at that. I think that's the first appearance of Steel, Superboy, all that. That's a nice one, though. And it looks like it's in perfect condition, just like they all have been. So let's get that in bags and boards. That will be going out to CGC. I'll have to check to see if that the funeral is over that it says in the uh, the spot for the direct editions. I want to see if that's on every one. I don't, I don't know. Perfect looking comics, those guys. No DC Universe logo, but these are as good as it gets. 
These are in nicer shape than books off the press right now. God. I know all my Superman fans, especially of this era, are watching this with their mouths open. That's another one. Absolutely perfect condition. No doubt about it. If these don't get 9.8s, that would be a complete shock. Whether I submit them to CBCS or CGC, I'm not sure. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm looking at these books, and these are just all things I read a million times back in the day. Man. Beautiful, beautiful covers. Yeah, look at that. That's the Superboy I remember. That's awesome, man. Woo! Very nice. Oh, what's this? A little trading card. Yep. A little trading card. Untouched. Maybe I'll put that in my very small trading card collection. Very nice. I think these were in such good shape because this one actually had an extra layer of cardboard in there. That's awesome. Another very successful one. Unfortunately, we did not get the DC Universe logo. Oh well. What are you going to do? You can't get it every time. What say we open up this Nightfall? As you guys might know, Nightfall is like the pinnacle of my collection. This is everything about me. Unfortunately, so far all of the first ones on here have really bad indents from being in this window for so long. So, I'm kind of expecting it again. We'll see. This thing's a little banged up, I'll be honest with you guys. Getting a little nervous. Alright, these things are about to see the light of day for the first time in almost 30 years. Let's take a look. Oh, no DC Universe logo! Oh, well. Hey, at least it's another super crisp copy. Now, I'm already noticing, like I said, that first issue, that's going to need a press if it's going to stand any chance of getting a 9.8. It's got that really nasty window bag mark left in it. That is going in my press pile. Now what you guys need to know about this is a lot of these Toys R Us um, collector set, it's reprints, third prints, but a lot of the stuff from the 90s is oftentimes more rare if it's a second or a third print. That's a nice perfect shape third print. Definitely going out. I wonder if these are all third prints. I mean, that would make sense. Second print. Interesting. This one actually has an interesting imperfection. It's got an interesting spine roll. That's pretty kind of uncommon. I think it might still get the 9.8, though. That's going to go out. Nice. Okay. Guys, every single one of these has been... Borderline perfect or completely perfect. That's another one that was perfect. Now, here's that's interesting. This is a first print. We got first, second, third prints in here. This is all over the place. Still no DC Universe logos, though. I'm going to be honest, guys. These do look better than most books you find in your comic book stores to this day. You know what's annoying about this? It took me so many years to do that Nightfall wall I have. And here I am, just one after another, perfect, perfect copies of the Nightfall arc. If I had found this years ago, I wouldn't have had to do all this. Last but certainly not least, here's the key in the batch. I was really hoping for that to be the rare second print. Looks like it's just a first print, guys. I have to interrupt my own video to correct myself there. This is my Nightfall wall. That is a first print. Whenever you see that white with the red in front, that's a first print. Pretty much all the ones you're gonna find look like that. The second print is, same thing, red font, but with a yellow backdrop. The third print, which is what I got, which I've never had, has a yellow font with a red background. So, 
actually, I've been on the hunt for that for years to find it in a nice copy, and I just found a perfect 9.8 ready copy. Sounds good. And now we're opening up Nightfall Pack Part 2. And right off the bat, unfortunately, the first one in did have the same defects that all the other window ones had. They had that annoying indent in the front cover. So that one will need to press. But every single one of these other books was as perfect as if it just came off the printing press. Uh, considering it took me so long to find these over the last 10 years, it's pretty crazy to run into these many nice copies just like that. Ha 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 ha! That is the rare second print of Batman 500. That's like a $400 to $500 9.8, if it can get it. Ironically, I already do own one. And you know what? I paid $300 for it, I believe. And here it is, just being tossed in. I think it can get it, too. It does have a slightly dinged corner. This batch has had some dings, but... With a press, I remain hopeful. There it is, guys. Rare second print, Batman 500. No trading card hiding in this one. Wow, that was awesome. You guys know how much I love collecting Nightfall, and to get them all again in perfect grade, very rewarding. Let's move on to Batman Contagion, part one and part two. I think these are 95 or 96 off the top of my head. So I'm kind of hoping that these have the DC logo. I'm looking right at it, guys. I see it. I see the DC Universe logo. Yes. And my next big project is actually to try to collect the entire Contagion run in 9.8s. And what better way to do it than with the rare DC Universe variant? It's really convenient that I have decided recently to start collecting the entire Contagion run in 9.8s, because these frickin' things are amazing, guys. I also really like the red DC logo variant. It's like a rare variant of a rare variant. Cool story about this one, Shadow of the Bat, uh, Contagion issue one. I've actually submitted this in before, obviously not the DC Universe variant, and my 9.8 is the only one on the census unless anyone else has submitted it in recently. Maybe I'll be the second on the census too, and with the rare DC Universe variant logo. That would be cool. All right, that was part one. Let's open up part two. Looks just as perfect as the last one. And interestingly, this comic, even though it was in the front, it doesn't have that same uh, markings from being in the window. So that's awesome. Guys, these are so clean. And there's a DC Universe logo on every one of them! Oh my gosh. Yo, if I can get every single one of these rare DC Universe variants in the 9.8 or better, my god. that You know what? That's going to be my next um, CGC submission goal of mine. That's pretty awesome. So that was really exciting. That is a huge win for me personally. And to think that that's one of the things I'm trying to collect in all nine eights, and it just falls on my lap like that. Amazing. Now we have to open what I think is gonna be the most important one here. And I hope that it's got the DC Universe logo, but even if it doesn't, I'm hoping for no dinged corners because I already see we got a Superman 75, Death of Superman, we got Man of Steel 18, which is the first appearance of uh, Doomsday. There's some big stuff in here, guys. If only those ones in the front didn't keep getting hit by uh, having impressions from being in a window. Unfortunately, it's Superman 75 sitting in that window, so hopefully it's not too badly uh, indented. Moment of truth. Here we go. Almost the moment of truth. No. But. Oh my god. Get 
get out here, get out here, get out here. Mm, 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 mm. Do you know what that is, guys? That is the rare fifth printing DC Universe variant. Let's get that in a bag and board right now. Oh, that is a personal grail. This has to get a 9.8. Oh my God. Please, please give this a 9.8. All right, so the Death of Superman does need a press. It's got a little bit of an indent from the being in the window there. That's fine. I'm going to put that in my uh, pressing pile. It's a fourth print, by the way. Fourth print. I don't know anything about this book. Justice League 69. It's a third print. I will be submitting it, though. You know why? Because these things are in perfect condition. Some really crisp Superman books, guys. I also like that it's second and third prints, sometimes fourth, sometimes fifth. Especially when it comes to Superman, for whatever reason, second prints and up seem to fetch way more money than first prints. I don't really know what that is. If you guys know, could you explain that to me in the comments? I don't understand, but maybe I don't have to understand. All I know is these books are perfect looking. Last book. A second print of that. Ooh, it needs a press, though. This very last book needs a press. It's sitting on an interesting spine roll. <sighs> okay. And by the way, I have another Green Lantern that's coming in the mail that I just got too impatient for. I'll have to unbox that some other time. Okay, I think we were about 50-50 on if it had the DC Universe logo. Only about, I'd say, one, two, all the Troikas, unfortunately. So probably six out of, what, 60 books uh, do not stand a chance at getting a perfect grade. And we've got about, pardon, one, two, three, four, five, ironically, all the ones that were sitting in the very front of these Toys R Us collected editions that all require a press that should easily pop these right back in to getting a perfect grade. I still can't believe I got a fifth print of that first appearance of Doomsday. Yeah! <laughs> guys, guys, I have been chasing that thing. I found one in the wild one time, and it was like a... 8.0, you know, I just opened an untouched, unread DC Universe rare variant fifth print of that comic. That is, I mean, you can even go back to my other videos of my favorite 9.8s out there. That's on there. So here's hoping, guys. All right, so I am beyond satisfied. It is interesting. They were like second prints, fifth prints, fourth prints, first prints, DC Universe logo variant. Not the DC Universe logo variant. Not a single newsstand. That makes sense. Some of them are completely blank. They had no um, barcode or lack of a barcode or anything, noting it was a direct edition, which is funny because I know that the true direct editions had some sort of symbol down there. So that's an extra interesting thing. Either way, guys, this was a great success. And this is me having my childhood fulfilled. I don't know about you guys, this is freaking awesome. I got so much great stuff to send to CGC. As always guys, keep on collecting. You never know what gold you are gonna stumble across.